Hey everybody, it's Brandon again. Today we had um, Chrome OS version 129 came out to the stable channel. I have it right here on Chrome OS Flex. I also have a Chromebook Plus sitting over there that has it on it. And so we're going to go ahead and take a look at the new things that I have noticed. You can let me know if there's anything I missed. Uh, most of it's kind of cool, but there is something that's actually lame that they also changed. But we'll go ahead and get to that. So the first thing you'll notice when you update to 129 is when you first start up there's this uh, pop-up screen that comes up asking you if you want to use this new um, feature called welcome recap and I can't recreate it right now while I'm recording since I'm recording on the device itself but you'll notice first thing when you start it up and it's something you can turn on and off if you're in the um, system preferences I think it is you scroll down to the bottom and there's a new option for welcome recap and you can turn that you can disable it, you can say always open or ask every time. What it does is now when you start up your Chromebook or your Chrome OS Flex device, it can reopen all the programs that you had previously running the last time you were there. So you can kind of pick back up where you left off, which is kind of cool. Um, I have it set for ask every time because maybe sometimes I want it to open everything. Maybe sometimes I don't. I think the, uh, the ask every time is a good feature for that. So that's one of the cool things. Um, when it first popped up, I was like, what is this? I don't want this. But then I played around with it, and it's actually kind of useful. The next new thing they add is something called Quick Insert. And let me go ahead and open... Uh, let's go Type Pad here. This is a cool new feature. Say you're typing, and on your keyboard you can hit the... I call it the Start button. I don't know what it's called on a Chromebook, but the, the little circle button. But you hit that, and you press F and it'll bring up this new menu. I think it's called the Quick Insert Menu, and um, it'll give you emojis you can do. You can do a GIF. I guess it'll bring you to a GIF search. Yeah, that's kind of cool. And there's other things, too. Uh, I haven't tried everything, but let's see what date does. Eh. So anyway, it's just a quick menu. I like it for the emoji thing. Um, but, you know, the other stuff is pretty cool, too. So that's called, I think, Quick Insert. And you get that by holding on the Windows or Chrome key and the letter F. Okay. The next thing they do is they um, took Focus Mode, which had already been in Chrome OS under a flag. Um, it's now just activated by default. So if you click on Focus Mode, you get these options. Like, you can tell how long you want it to be in Focus Mode. You can have it play relaxing music for you while you're focusing and it'll go ahead and uh, hide all your notifications while you're in focus mode and so if you're really trying to work say you want to be busy for the next well here 25 minutes you can set focus mode for that time and it'll go ahead and do that for you oh another thing they did is they added gemini to chrome os flex i have a chromebook plus over there and this is already on there now they just added it to everything um to be honest, on both Flex now and on Chrome OS Plus, the uh, Gemini was just a link to the web app version of it. It's really nothing different. So you could have had this in Flex already just by making a shortcut to the web app. But now it's official. You'll get it automatically. And um, yeah, it's Gemini. It does Gemini stuff. Just like uh, the exact same thing you'd get if you went to their website. Okay, now for the thing I think is kind of lame. As you might have noticed, my windows are not rounded anymore. Um, there was a flag, and let me bring a tab over here and I can show you. I had enabled, and I made a video about this maybe a month or so ago in a Chrome Flags, where you could turn on rounded windows, and you'd have these nice rounded windows. Well, in 129, they got rid of that. Some of you who have been on the beta or the dev channel already knew this and have uh, talked to me about it in the comments of some of my other videos. But the weird thing is, I also have this flag enabled on my Chromebook Plus over there, and it's on 129, and it still has the rounded windows. Flex doesn't. So you got to ask yourself, are they going to make rounded windows a Chromebook Plus only thing? I don't know. That'd be lame. Um, I don't like this at all. I think it looked 20 times better with the rounded windows. It's kind of jarring when you go back to not having it after you've been using the rounded windows for long, for so long, and now you're back to these square, bulky ones. Uh, it's a big disappointment. If anyone from Google watches this, please bring back the rounded windows on Chrome OS Flex. They're still there on my Chromebook Plus, so I don't know what the deal is. And, oh, 
Speaking of things they removed from Flex, this was in the last version, which I didn't make a video of, but they got rid of the, uh, what was it called, the phone hub, I think. You know, the thing where it could connect to your phone and you'd get notifications from your phone and whatnot on here. They got rid of that from Chrome OS Flex. Again, it's still on my Chromebook Plus. Now, in all fairness, on Flex, it didn't have all the options. Like, you couldn't do the screen mirroring, but um, the notifications worked, and you could see your phone battery life and other things like that. They totally took that out. I don't know why. I don't know if they're trying to make Flex less consumer friendly. I know they don't have Android. They don't have the official version of Steam. Now they don't have Phone Hub. They don't have rounded windows. I don't know. I hope they're not just trying to gimp the Flex version just to kind of get people to buy actual Chromebooks, but maybe they are. Who knows? So anyway, those are the changes I've noticed. Um, all in all, I like 129. It seems good so far. I haven't had many crashes. I've only been using it for a few hours. Let me know if you guys have noticed anything else. To me, the biggest drawback is a lack of those rounded windows. I do like the, uh, the emoji pop-up thing now. Well, it doesn't do anything there, but that, that maybe is the other coolest thing. Uh, the welcome recap's cool too, so yeah, all in all, it's a decent update. What do you guys think? You can let me know in the uh, comments, and maybe there's something I missed. You can let everybody else know that in the comments too. Other than that, thanks for watching. I hope you have a good day. Goodbye now.